Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my rods down to 30 pounds and looking to see if I'm gonna be able to get a cotter key through it, and I'm not. So I'll bring that around. That's got me up to about 35. I believe I can get a cotter pin in that one. Right, that one I'm going to be able to get in there. So that one's lined up. Here's where the hole is. We're in the process of installing our cotter keys. I torqued down the rod bolts uh, nuts to 35 pounds and I've had to do a little adjustment on it. The hole wouldn't line up so I had to tighten it up a little beyond that. Uh, part of the problem is uh, we got dippers on it and they add a little thickness so it doesn't necessarily work out just exactly like it would and then also some rod bolts are just shorter than others depends on who you get them from but there are different lengths apparently sometimes you don't have a bit of trouble installing and I like to trim off this excess because it doesn't do anything force and just take a pair of pliers and crimp it down over so we would do that to all of our rods and we elected just to put lock horses in it rather than cotter keys it's no show car it's just going to be a driver and plus the fact that we're going to have it apart several times and I'm just going to install the one set of cotter keys in here, but what we did on that, you would just repeat all the way through. But, and again, the reason for that is I'm going to have these pistons in and out of here probably several times over the next year, demonstrating and show and tell, basically. Hey, uh, I'm going to torque these down to 65 pounds. That's kind of the number that I like to live with. Your number, your mileage may vary.